Hello! In this video I will go over how to turn diagnostics on so that you can see the correlation coefficient when you're doing linear regression. Some calculators will have two ways to do this. So let's take a look. Uh, first off, if you haven't entered this data to work through a previous video, please take a moment to enter the X and Y data into your calculator. Just pause the video, enter the data L1 for X values, L2 for Y values under Stat Edit, and restart the video when you're ready. Okay. So, to see the correlation coefficient R when doing linear regression, you must have diagnostics turned on. Press second function and then above the zero key where it says catalog. Now, you can either scroll down to the D's or you can notice that the alpha key is highlighted in the upper right corner of the screen. And so that means the green keys, uh, alpha is green here. So if you notice above X inverse, the D is green. And that'll take you down to the D's a little quicker than scrolling all the way through. And just keep going till you find diagnostic on. It'll be diagnostic off, but you find diagnostic on. Hit enter once and hit enter twice. It says it's done. Now when I do stat calculate number four for linear regression, I'm going to go down to calculate because everything's already fixed up. Okay, so now this time, not only do I get the slope and the y-intercept, I also get r squared. That's something called coefficient of determination. And I get r, the correlation coefficient. Another way to do this, if your calculator has two pages of modes, is to look for the stat diagnostics and make sure that it's set to on by hitting enter. So if your calculator has that, that's a second way to turn diagnostics on. So I hope this has been helpful. This concludes this video.